lived a normal life, baseball, running, skateboarding, snowboarding, and then at the age of nine and a half, just kind of started feeling weak in my legs, tripped and fallen, and went to go see a doctor and informed us that it was a rare neurological um, disorder that your immune system attacked your nervous system. My brother got me into snowboarding. Um, a lot of the years when I was not able to snowboard and I was paralyzed, he was always snowboarding. That was something I just always had the dream of maybe one day doing it with him. Brad has been inspirational to me. He's just watching what he goes through on a daily basis to get through life. And Brett shows uh, people with similar disabilities that it can be done. You just have to set your mind to it. Snowboarding is just a way for me to have freedom. It was definitely difficult adapting to having one leg than having two. You don't have a foot to control the bottom of the board. Just being able to go down and be like, the time I've put in is paid off. Even with everything he's gone through, Brett Vitello continues to pursue his dreams. He's a writer, a motivational speaker, and he's currently training to be a Paralympic snowboarder. Brett, thanks for being with us tonight. It is a delight to have you here and to welcome you as our Hux hero tonight. Thank you very much. First of all, when I watch people, whether it's ski jumping or snowboarding or any of that stuff, I think, okay, by the time they get to the Olympics, they've done it hundreds of times, and they're comfortable, they're familiar, they know what's going to happen. I want to know what the heck they were thinking the first time they did that, and that's what I want to ask you. What were you thinking, and were you scared out of your mind? Yeah, I was excited, but I absolutely was scared. I knew that it was a physical challenge, and I really didn't know how much my body could take, how much of it, until I pushed it. And there's been injuries, but... It was just something that I had to come back from and work towards the next thing. You had physical limitations that you had nothing to do with. Right. That happened to you. And you have unshackled yourself from those limitations. You're doing things that other people who have no limitations cannot, or maybe I should say, will not do. For me, growing up, it was always go, go, go. So when I was limited to not doing that, it really hit me hard. So. The way, I, the way I tell people is when I got the opportunity, I press play. Did doctors or your family ever try to say, hey, Brett, uh, this is a little ridiculous. Don't do this. How many people try to talk you out of doing it? There's been quite a few, especially after injuries. Even I question myself. Um, you know, is this the smartest decision? Is this the right thing to be doing at this time? And I'm like, we only live once. I want to do everything. And I, you know, sat on the sidelines for so long. I want to just be out there. So take advantage of every opportunity I get. You do a lot of speaking, uh, you talk to groups. What's the essence of your message, Brett? Exactly that, to take advantage of every moment that we get. For me, I don't know if it's gonna be a week, a year, until the next thing challenges me, but I know I feel good now. I know I feel good to be here, to be on the mountains this past week. So I just live every moment to the fullest. Brett, you are a hero, and I want to say thank you for thank being here tonight. Thank you for having me. What a joy and an honor. If you'd like to buy Brett's book called Standing My Own Ground, it can be found on Amazon.com. And if you want to follow Brett's journey to become a Paralympic athlete, you can follow him on social media as well.